Thank you for joining us here at the Howe Library. I'm with the Youth Services Librarian. So if you've got kids, you know her. This is Denise Reisma. And if you don't know her, you're gonna make her your best friend because everything from preschool all the way through grade school, she is busy all the time with programs here at the library for your kids. Hey Denise, good to see you. Thanks. So all year round, this place is very, very busy. One of the events in the fall that I heard about was the Halloween costume swap. Yep, um, this will be the third year that we're doing that and we do it with the race school PTO and it's on a Sunday afternoon and people can um, swap costumes or you can just come in and look through what we've got and, and take something. And um, this year we're also um, uh, mentioning to people who participate with the Chad Hero parade or I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on exactly what it is but I remember that people dress up in superhero costumes and if people want to come in and look for that at our costume swap um, that would be a good idea too. Now you work with kids of all ages so you're never too young to start coming to the library right? Oh never too young no absolutely <laughs> not in fact there's uh, there was one day a couple weeks ago where we probably had five infants like I'm talking newborns in the library at the same time. <laughs> I remember one of my first memories that I still have is when I was little there was a book called Corduroy the Bear yep and then there was Timothy the Bear and those were my two favorites and I had my corner in the library under the edge of the staircase and that's where I would read them. <laughs> yeah it's just great when the little kids come in and they're so familiar with the place they feel so at home um, and you know it's just you know the same thing they have their favorite books their favorite little place to be in the library their favorite little stuffed animal to hold and but a little secret about librarians is you know what books kids actually like exactly so if mom and dad have a book that they want to you know get for Christmas or they're like is this any good you can be like yeah maybe not <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and a lot of kids too they like familiarity I think mm -hmm. so even buying them a book that they already know is fine and reading them the same book over and over is fine that's wonderful. Now, school-aged children, there's a lot of popular book series out there. We've had the Harry Potter phenomenon. You right. know, we've got Hunger Games and everything else going on. Um, what about someone who doesn't know where to begin? Could you point them in the right direction? Oh, oh ab you know, absolutely. We do a lot of book advisory. One thing about children's librarians is they read a lot of kids' books. <laughs> you know, we all have our stacks, you know, by our beds or on our kitchen tables. And um, it's really fun to help kids find books. It's harder when the parents come in looking for books for the kids because we're not always exactly sure if we're going to find what the kid likes but we have our ways of asking questions and finding books that kids will like. What's on your bookshelf right now? My bookshelf? Yeah. Well it's a bunch of new things that just came out this fall. Yeah. Um, one is called The Green Glass House which got really good reviews. It's a mystery fantasy um, and I have another, I never can remember the titles. But anyway, yeah, so um, fall is a big publishing time for kids' books. So it's a good time so, to try out new things. Yeah, so I'll be reading a lot. And how about going into the winter season? Do you have anything coming up that maybe we should check out? Usually after the holidays, we try to do some special programming. We have Lego Club that meets twice a week. This year we'll probably be starting a Sunday afternoon family block time. Um, we got a nice gift. Um, and with that we purchased a lot of the uh, traditional unit blocks made out of wood and we're buying a, um, accessories for that right now. Um, so we're thinking of starting that in the winter. Um, there definitely is, uh, the winter's a good time to do a lot of programming because families are looking for things to do with their oh, kids. definitely. Yeah. And it sounds like you've got a lot going on and you're going to keep us busy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite kids book? You know, when people ask me that, I refuse to answer it because I don't think I should have a favorite book. All right. That's your, I'd say that's your least favorite. That probably won't work either. No, no, I'm not going to do that either. But, um, you know, when I, when I was growing up myself, I read a lot of historical fiction, and that's what I really like. And I do love historical fiction. But kids in general, a lot of kids don't gravitate to that as much as, like, fantasy and realistic fiction. So I try not to you know, push my favorites on kids. They have to be a little more open-minded. So I think having a favorite is probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I, I remember when I was younger, I very much liked the Laura Ingalls Wilder series. Yeah. They were very popular. Yeah. And yeah. Magic School Bus was also Oh, it's amazing. Everywhere. And Magic now it's a TV show. I was around before it was a TV show, but... Yeah, it's still extremely popular. The kids definitely go through a time where they want to read those books. And that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thank you very much, Denise, for joining us. Sure. A lot of programs going on here at the library. You have their holiday swap. 
You've got ongoing wonderful things for the kids, including some wonderful um, family time coming up this winter. So if you don't even know where to begin, you ask the librarian, because they're right. wonderful and they help mm -hmm. you. I remember Mr. Rogers said that. <laughs> and also, see if you can weasel out of her, her favorite book. <laughs> I didn't have much luck, but maybe you'll do better than me, particularly if you bring a really cute kid. Maybe you can get her to, get to let us know. So thank you very much, Denise Reitzma, the youth services librarian here at the Howe Library. Make sure you check out their website and get all the latest updates on what's happening here.